All right, now, a section of residents from Rachonyo North Ward in Homer Bay County are now facing the wrath of environmental degradation following aggressive sand mining activities that have led to poor infrastructure. And they are appealing to the county government to enact legislation to regulate and mitigate the effects. Stating effects of human activity. This is Mitimbili Beach in Rachonyo North Ward, Homa Bay County. Sand mining has left the environment on the edge. One of the most severely impacted areas is the Rachonyo GK prison near Mitimbili Beach, which recently experienced a week-long power blackout. Five poles fell down and the station was forced to undergo one-week blackout. We all know that most of crime happened during the night. So with blackouts, provides safe haven for crime to be committed. The instability has raised concerns about security. The harvested areas tend to be swampy. So with that, rates always grow in those areas. Some have become tall and bushy. And you know that with bushy places, it can turn to be hiding places for, for criminals. The outage has also hurt the local fishing industry. Juicy village team ali angoka hapo. Tulikuwa na mambo kama watu wa shop, alfany na fridges, wakinyosi pia walikuwa na shida, sim charging. Kila mali walikuwa na stress. In Osodo village kilometers away, residents voiced regrets over the long-term environmental consequences of sand mining. Upata namna ya kuregesa the community said that sand mining, which began in 1986, has devastated the landscape and cultural sites. Graves have also been excavated by mining trucks, leaving only a few cemented ones intact. We know what it takes for you know people to do quarrying. Those areas are very loose now. They are prone to collapse. And we are asking anyone who is doing that business to stop. Home Bay County Director of Mining and Excavation of Mineral Resources, Francis Odalo, says there is a legislation process that has begun to avert further environmental degradation. We are in the process of uh, doing our policy. It has been approved by the cabinet. It's being taken to assembly so that uh, we can now implement it. Aggressive sand mining is increasingly biting into settlements here and appears to be carried out without consideration for the long-term environmental effects. Some residents want the government to conduct their assessments and sensitize the public about the negative impact it has on the environment. For Easy Friday, I'm Christine Matunda.